So we're going to compute for the force P uh, and our criteria is in terms of bearing stress and shearing stress. So this is problem 1 to 6. The lap joint shown in figure 1 to 6 is passed by 4 3 fourth inch diameter rivets. Calculate the maximum safe load P, this one, that can be applied if the shearing stress in the rivets is limited to 14 KSI. KSI meaning kips per inch or kilopounds per inch. Kips meaning kilo, kilopounds. And the bearing stress in the plate is limited to 18 KSI. Assume the applied load is uniformly distributed among the four rivets. So here's the setup. Uh, you have two concerns here. One is the rivets. The other one is the plate. So you, if you're going to uh, put force tension, the rivets experiences, in this case, shearing, okay, and the plate experiences bearing stress, okay. So let's start solving the problem by first uh, writing the given. So what are the given? So you have lap join, this one, okay. The diameter of the rivets, let's call that dr, that is 3 port inch, okay. The shearing stress in the rivet, it's uh, 14 KSI. And the bearing stress okay, of the blade, it's limited to 18, 18 KSI. Uh, you have also the dimensions and the dimensions of the plate is important let's call that T or TP thickness of the plate that is 7 over 8 inch uh, you can also write the width of the plate that is 4 inches you're going to calculate the minimum okay I in here it says maximum safe load so it means the uh, the limit or the yung pinakamalaki kaya maximum pinakamalaking load para hindi masira yung rebet sa ka plate so a little bit confusing but Ito yung pinakamalaki. I will explain it later. So, we are going to P max or just P. So, solution. Okay. For the solution, uh, we could focus first at the rivets. Okay. In the rivets, so you have four, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. And it says the force P. This is force P over four. Kasi uniformly distributed. So yan siya, yun yung na experience niyang force. Okay. So yan. So my shearing force na nangyayari dyan na individual rivets experiences P over 4. For example, your P is 100. It means individually, they experience a force that is equivalent to 25. So, ganun lang siya. Then, let's focus on one rivet. Okay. Now, here's the rivet. Okay. And here's the plate. Like that. Okay. Now, this rivet experiences shear. So the shear is in this part. 
and the shear area is this red part. Okay, so that is a circle. So, okay. Now, for the shear, you have the equation shear, you have B over A. That is the shearing area. Let's call it this one. To shear, that V is equivalent to P over 4. Okay? So, P over 4 divided by area. What's the area? The area of a circle because this one is the sheared area or yung napupunit na area. So, you have now pi over 4 d ng rivets or diameter squared. So, this one will cancel. So, you are left with the equation p that is pi dr squared. Now, as you notice, you have to take note about the area. So, you have to remember the area. Not area, in this case, are circle or rectangle. You have to understand it and draw it. Okay? So, for the P, in terms of rebet, okay, one rebet, ah, uh, no, uh, the P value, so that would be TR, or tau, or shear stress, pi, then you have DR squared. Okay? Then you have P, so this is 14 kips, or KSI rather, 14,000 pound per inch is squared, you have pi, then you have dr, that is 3 fourths squared, that is inch is squared, so you are left with pounds. So, computing the value, you will get 24,740.0422 pounds. Okay, for the meantime, uh, Let's uh, set it as the P value here should be less than 24,740 pounds so that the rivets will not be sheared or break para hindi mapunit yung rivets. Okay? Pero, titignan din natin. Let's look at the, uh, let's look at the plate. Because rebates is only one factor, the plate also experiences a bearing stress. Here, bearing stress. So, what is bearing stress? Now, uh, here's the figure. So, you have the top view. Something like that. Okay, it has P and P. Then, the rivets, it's here, and the rivets uh, has a contact. It has a shearing stress that is imparted on this side. Okay. Yan. Okay. If we look at the one hole, this is not the rivet side, this is the hole. The hole experiences, the hole in the plate experiences a, a bearing stress. So you have, for example, a 3D. Okay, something like that. Okay. Now, this is the hole. This part. Experiences bearing stress. But the area should not be the... Uh, halves the circumference times the thickness. No. It should be what we call the projected area. So, if you look at this part, okay, it means the projected area it's like this. This is the projected area. This is the area for the bearing stress. And that area, you have the diameter dr, then you have the thickness TP. Okay. We assume that the hole is the same diameter as the 
uh, the rivets. Okay, but in machine design, we will have some uh, difference in diameter. But for strength of materials, or in our subject, we assume that they are equal in diameter. So let's continue. Okay. So you have for the bearing stress that is force, bearing force over area. Now, we are looking at one area only or one hole only. So, as I've said earlier, in one hole or one rivet, it experiences P over 4. So, the P here should be uh, P over 4. Okay? So, this should be this one. The original equation would be force over area. The force experienced by the one hole Okay, again, experienced by the one hole, it's uh, P over 4. So with that, we could say that this one, it's P for the area, it's the area from this diagram, the projected area is dr times dp. Now, let's substitute the values, the P, uh, actually, P, it's for bearing stress, dr, dp. So, I will not square this one because you have to look at the area. So, the area is dr, that is the, uh, shall we say, the width and the thickness. Okay. So, you have 4 and for the bearing that is 18,000. Uh, pounds per inch squared then the diameter of rivets it's three ports uh, that is in inch then you have the thickness the thickness that I've written as shown in the figure it's 7 over 8 inch so cancel cancel in inch squared you now have a force that is equivalent to 47 to 50 pounds Ah, sorry. Now, you have to compare the two values. Now, it says here, to uh, fail or to para masira yung plate in terms of bearing stress, you must exceed the 47,000 pounds or 47,250 pounds. You have to exceed. Below that, you are okay. Okay? But, it says in the rivets, hanggang dito ka lang, 24,740. Kapag lupas ka dyan, mapupunit yung rivets. The rivets will be sheared if you go beyond this force. So, the limiting force, the limiting P should be in the shearing. So, it means, if I put 24,000 pounds in the whole system, the rivets will not shear and the plate will be safe okay but if i use 47000 you're okay with the plate it will not have a failure in terms of bearing but before you before you go to you will impart 47000 at 24000 masisira na it breaks na so yun lang so this now is the combination of bearing and shear stress